are Becca and Matt. And we're full-time travelers working remotely. We are currently traveling the United States with a 13-foot borrow camper. And our two cats, Grace and Peach. Right now, we are exploring the Northeast for the summer. And then heading back west before winter. Like and subscribe to follow along our journey. Cheers! We have officially made it to New York. Um, we were right on the border of it anyway, so we were pretty quick out of Vermont. We had about a two and a half hour drive today. Very rural. We've been right along the Canadian border the whole time, which is pretty cool. We even drove through, I think, some Amish country where we saw a couple of um, horse-drawn buggies. That was always fun. That's the only annoying thing. We're here for a full week for work to relax. And of course, we don't have great internet, which sounds very, silly but when you need to make money on the road it kind of becomes a more important aspect of your um, travel requirements Let's see I'm rambling here it's too hot for me anyway supposed to rain tonight bring down the weather I mean bring down the temperature <laughs> I'm struggling anyway just want to update you we made it to New York and we're here for a week we're here for a week thriving this week uh, it was supposed to be a work week it was kind of rough service was tough uh, we're north of Canton New York we're right south of Ottawa Canada so we're right on the border actually uh, st. Lawrence River I believe um, yeah so service is just pinging from Canadian Tower to Canadian Tower we're roaming it's not super reliable so it was kind of tough to get work done harder on Becca than me but uh, it was definitely a frustrating point on the week. I think just because we were coming from somewhere where we knew wouldn't have service and so we were kind of hoping for it here. But yeah, check out the town today. Show you the cats. They've been enjoying it here, although pushing their boundaries. Always have to push them. All right, so you can see the setup here. And you got guard cat number one over here at this corner. And guard cat number two over here at this corner. Hello, strangers. So here we are on a beautiful Saturday. We're about to check out Dwight Eisenhower's lock. Thrilling stuff. Um, actually, it was pretty interesting. But then we're going to drive down the St. Lawrence River about an hour south. You could spend hours driving along this river. We're going to be doing it again on Monday. So we figured we'd just do an hour's worth of drive today and see what we can see. I think Matt filled you guys in on our week. It's been interesting. The girls are enjoying it. Um, a few comments on the campground. Friendliest people there. Everyone's friends with everybody. Comes up, talks to you, etc. Everybody has a dog. Yellow Lab. Yellow Lab is a quite a common theme. 
a lot of families, a lot of kids, but it's been nice. We took a dip in the river yesterday. Yeah, it's just been a relaxing kind of summer American camping style week. It's getting hot in here. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Business at the top. Making fun of me. Oh, making fun of you. Look cute. I'm making fun of me. <laughs> Gonna have to edit that out. confession time this week was hard this week was hard i'm not really sure why i mean part of it was we didn't have good cell signal so work was stressful i think being on the road full time is kind of catching up to us i think we could use some space to get better alone time at least i know for myself but it's not something that i actively think about like i'm not like oh i need alone time but it comes out in other ways <laughs> It's just like a lot, we're a lot on the move and we actually been here for a full week or are going to be and that's nice. Um, but even then it's like, there's always something. Like even yesterday we spent the whole day doing laundry and going grocery shopping. And you're exhausted after that. Cause everything is a little harder for some reason. Harder to maintain, harder to, I don't know. It's a small space. So in many ways it's easier, but it's like constant. And I don't want to stop what we're doing, but I just wanted to come on here and express that it's definitely hard or is getting harder. And I don't know if it's normal. I don't know if this is a wave or I don't know if it's a sign that we should just take a break. Unfortunately, we don't really have the luxury to take a break as much as I would love to take like an Airbnb for a week. They're kind of pricey, you know, and when you know how much you could spend on a campsite instead, it makes it a little bit harder. And then for what? Just so you have a little bit more room, right? Like you can talk yourself out of it. But anyways, today's been a good day. This weekend has been good so far, but it's hard. Sorry, I had some kids on my lawn. Had to show them someone was home. Problem with cats is that draws a lot of attention. Anyways, I'm rambling. Good morning. Thought I'd share that the last two days, I decided to get up and go for a little walk by myself because A, that gets me a long time, <laughs> that I think I'm realizing I need, and two, it gets me moving. 
early first thing in the morning and I even threw in a little bit of running but I'm more of a morning I mean a walking person but it's amazing how much it sets the tone for the day just moving I immediately feel better and now I'm doing a little bit of stretching next to the shoes <laughs> and that's what feels good today what a light what a nice light you got <laughs> yeah Alright, so we just left the lake. We're gonna go pick up some meat so we can grill tonight. We're gonna go check out this place called Joe's Quality Meat Market or something like that. And uh, hopefully we get some steak or maybe burgers. Let's see what they have. So I might have messed up. Again. Uh, the meat market store was in Canada. <laughs> Only six miles away, but if unless you have a boat, it's a two hour drive into another country. Was it really? Two hours. Yep. So we came to a cider store instead. Yeah. You want to tell me about <laughs> that too? <laughs> may or may not be open. Well, it is July. I feel so like I see it. Apples aren't in season right now. That's what we're going to give them. But see, another confusion. I drank one of their ciders yesterday and we were looking it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's right where we're staying. And then yeah. we looked it up and we saw it was nearby and we saw donuts and we're hungry. And that sounds great. It says it's open online, so hopefully yeah. it's right. Yeah, they're yeah. close for season. <laughs> Apples don't grow in the summer. Everyone knows that. Google said it was open. I guess we're going to the supermarket. <laughs> we're having potatoes, some roasted veggies. And, and chips. Final product. Look at that beast. Excited. Good morning. We are packing up after a week here in Upper State New York. And we are driving along the St. Lawrence River to Finger Lakes area. So that's our next destination for the following week. It's a rainy day. Always is. That's not true. Actually, we had beautiful last few days. Regardless, it's rainy today. Where was I going with this? Oh, it's a couple hour drive. I think all in all, we'll be like two and a half. But if we do the scenic route, it might be more like four ish. So we'll see. Um, it always takes longer with us, anyways, than the pool really says. But that's our plan. So off we go to our next destination. Come and tell me what you need to know. We can soak it and make it grow. What it is you bleed for, longing and yearning 